Welcome to episode 8 of Online Dating with Patsy the Podcast. I'm so glad you came back. Today's show, I'm going to play for you a conversation I had with a scammer last night. Uh, Another one pretending to be Chris Evans. He was number 15. And his conversation, he was really trying to tell me about him, himself. You know, he admitted he wasn't Chris Evans, which of course I already knew. But the conversation was real interesting, so I decided I wanted to share it on my show today. So, without further ado, here is my conversation. Hello? Hello? Oh, hello? Oh. Hello? Sorry for lying to you. Yeah, it's fine. No worries. I'm not Hello. upset. Like I said, I knew you weren't the real Chris Evans, so I'm it's so- not a big deal. I'm sorry that I lied to you. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Can you hear me? Do you forgive me? I do. I do forgive you. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, no, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. I'm not one of those people who are going to be upset by this. Yes. I deal with scammers all day long, and I don't take it personally at all. I'm never insulted or hurt. Yeah. Sorry for this. That's no problem. You are forgiven. Me. No, I don't hate you. I don't hate anybody. I don't hate anybody. Except maybe our former president, but I don't really hate anybody. If you want me to tell you about myself now, I can even tell you, you are the first woman that I've met. You're the first. I'm not dying. This is my truth. Okay. Yeah, I want to tell you about about myself, I can tell you, but but it is my it is my painful memories. Go ahead. Are you? I'm listening. Uh, um, well, I don't really know how to start because because my mother that today she gave birth to me through operation. Please, you, you will not believe me. You think I, I'm still lying to you? No, I don't. I don't. Don't worry about it. It's, you know. Because it, it, it is very painful. She she gave birth to me for operation and, and she died. Mm-hmm. She just, she, my father didn't have money to pay for the hospital bill. He, he ran away. I, I, I don't know my father. I'm, I'm not lying to you. That's fine. I understand. I believe you. I believe you. I'm just a little left boy. I'm just trying to survive. I I know. I've read the stories. I've heard of uh, uh, how awful and poor your country is. You know, I've read about it. Um, You know, and it's it's a shame. And I do pray, you know, for it. I pray for the whole world. But I know it's it's tough over there. Yeah. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. It's just that, it's just that, I can't go to school. Nothing. I'm just, I'm just a little left where nobody want to love me. Nobody want to help me. Nobody, nobody to take care of me. Nobody. Mm-hmm. I don't. I'm tired of this life. I'm tired. I want to die. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, I have an interesting story to tell you where I work. Um. There were three young men who were from Nigeria, and they got their engineering degrees in the United States. Yeah. I don't know how they got out, but I mean, they talk. They talked. They do these videos um, for diversity, and they talked yes. about how tough it is in their country, and that they were one of the fortunate ones to get out, and they were able to get engineering degrees, and they got good jobs, you know. And um, so, I mean. There's still hope for you, you know. You just can't give up hope. Yeah, yeah. I have to give up. I can't even go to school. Self, nobody to train me in school. Nobody to help me. Nobody. Since now, now we are in net. 
this money i've not eaten no money to their food just i'm just begging sometimes i beg sometimes nobody will help you yeah you know even in the united states we have people who beg as well you know um you know, it, it's all over the world, but I know your country is probably the worst with, with, with that, and it's sad, you know. Yeah. Are you going to block me after today? Am I going to what? Block me. No, I won't. I won't, you know, because um, I don't I don't mind chatting with you when I can. Um, but I do a lot of other, I uh, do a lot of internet stuff, so... Um, but, uh, but no, I just, you know, it's hard. It's easy for me to say this, but you just got to gotta keep the faith and hope and keep plugging along, and something good will happen. I, I, don't, I, I don't want to. I don't want to be this. I don't want to learn to, get, to have money. I want to go to school. Yeah. I want yeah. to have a better job. I want to have a better job. I want to yeah. go to school. Well, you just keep trying. Don't give up. Don't let anything stop you. You keep keep plugging along. I, I try. I try for so long. I try for so long. Nobody, oh, nobody I know. Will, you, you, you lose the faith, and you know, and never I'm feel never you. never feel bad about yourself. We all have struggles. Talk, you know, talk, and if you talk. If you talk your story, they will think you are lying. No, no, nobody will believe that. That nobody wants to. Uh, yeah. It's very hard. I want to go back to school. I want to go back to school. I'm a dropout. I leave school because I don't have money to afford. I just leave school. Yeah. I just leave school. No money to afford. No parents. Mm -hmm. No parents. No parents to go. Well, where do you live? Where do you live? I mean, are, are you in a house? Or are you living? I mean, you know. Sometimes. Sometimes? I at, sometimes I live at the bridge, under the bridge. There's sometimes I live at half house, house that have not been finished. I just live there. Mm hmm Yeah. That is where I live. Mm hmm I don't have anywhere to stay. I don't have anywhere to stay. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, you just gotta pray, and um, I don't know if you're a religious person or not, but um, you know, pray and you know, do what you can to keep going, keep trying to find a job. Um, I, I can't, I can't have a job because I can't have a job yet. I'm too young. Oh, okay. You you said you were seventeen. Yeah, I can't, I can't have a job. Nobody will blame me that way. Ah, if, if you have to go to school, you are too young to have to, you have to go to school. Yeah. You have to go to school. I have no money to afford for payment for school. I don't have money to, to afford for school. I don't have money to buy a textbook. I don't have money to do anything. I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired. I know. I know. It's hard. Um. I don't, I don't want to go to the orphanage home. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go to there. I don't want to go to the financial. I, I wish my mom. I wish my mom was alive. Yeah, I'm sure it's hard when you don't have parents, you know. And so, well, look, I'm gonna I'm gonna sign off for tonight. But I I want you to think happy thoughts, be more positive, and I know that's hard, and pray because. Something good will happen for you. Okay. Uh, I, I, I hope so good happens to me. I hope so good happens to yeah. me. Well, I'm gonna say prayers for you. What's your first name? I know it's not Chris Evans. No, my name is not Chris Evans. <laughs> it's not Chris Evans. Yep. Me. You picked my favorite guy in the whole world. I adore Chris Evans. I really do. <laughs> I see. So what's I'm your first that. name? My first name is Osan. Osan? Yes. Okay. All right. Osan. Osan. Sounds good. So I want you to take it easy. What is what time is it over there? I'm curious about the time difference. It's um eight um, like eight thirty seven p.m. here. Yeah, it's it's a.m. It's a two 
tout est tout est c'est vous et et at money early money woo that's early <laughs> yeah, yes. I, I, I can't sleep I'm not eating yeah I'm dying I'm dying well you try to get some sleep and like I said if you if you're a pray if you're a person of any kind of believe in any kind of God pray you know it doesn't it doesn't hurt it's free um, <laughs> and hopefully God will hear your prayers yeah I, I pray God yeah my prayers but uh, but I've not eaten I don't have power to pray okay all right well I'm gonna go now but you hang in there and we'll be in touch okay okay and I forgive you and don't worry about it don't please don't worry that you lied to me it's not a it's not a big deal it really isn't to me so I'm really sorry please I'm really sorry it's okay and I forgive you all right so I want you to try to get some sleep I can't sleep I'm I'm hungry my stomach is pinning me I feel like I'm dying here yeah 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 you're not going to understand my condition right now i feel like i'm dying since yeah. morning since, since morning till now i've no eating yeah i understand i do i understand so well just try to i don't know find something to do to occupy you know do something physical i know exercise for me really helps um you know but, huh it says yeah so, so I'm gonna let you go this evening. I want you to take it easy, and we'll talk again soon. But please don't block me, please. I won't block you. I promise. Okay. All right. Please. I won't. I'm not telling. Please. please. I will. Please. I will message you tomorrow. Okay, and see how you're please. doing. Please. Not tell anyone about me. If tell anyone about me, they will say I'm lying to you. That is probably what they will say. Nobody believe. That's okay. That's okay. I appreciate you telling me your story. I really do. Yeah, I All just right? tell you. I just tell you half of my story. Maybe tomorrow I will tell you. You the can rest. tell me some more, and I'll be pretty busy tomorrow. But I'll, I'll, I'll try to be around if I can. So, because I got a lot of errands to run. So. All right. What take it easy, you? my friend. Wait, please, please, please. What time do you? Back from work. What time can we well, start? I don't know. See, I well, I sleep in on Sundays because I go to church on Saturday evenings. Okay. So I okay. sleep late um, because I work during the week and I work really early hours. So, um, but um, I'll I'll text you or something and let you know when I'm available and we can chat some more. Okay, but but please, I don't know if you are online. If you are not online, I don't know if you are online. Just. See, I can't lie to you. You're my only friend. Yeah. Okay. My only friend. Nobody wants to make friends with me. Like, ah, it's a brother I don't know his mother. I don't know his father. What? What used to us? Nobody wants to be my friend. You're my only friend. Yeah. Please, please, please. please. If you're online, I want to know if you're online. Okay, I'll let you know when I'm on. Please. Okay. Take it easy, and we'll talk again soon. I have to go. Okay. okay. Thank you. It's almost Thank bedtime you. for me. I am tired, so so take it yeah. easy. Okay. Okay. Thank you for hearing my story. I would like to hear it tomorrow. Okay, and I'm going to say prayers for you tonight too. Thank. You. Okay. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Holy crap! Now I'm Dr. Phil. <laughs> Whether he's telling me the truth or not, I don't know, but. Um, I do know it's rough, um, and I, there are three guys at work that are from Nigeria, and I can't, can't try to connect with them on LinkedIn because I want to ask them questions, you know, And uh, but I don't want to do it through work stuff. I'd like to do it through LinkedIn, so anyway, but yes, now I'm a Dr. Phil, <laughs> ah! but as usual, we know it wasn't the real Chris Evans, so thank you very much. Okay, so now that we've all heard that, um, you know, as I sit and listen to it, um, I have many thoughts. Um, one is, you know, of course, I, I it sounds like he has, 
you know, sounds like he's it's in a bad place. Um, but then again, if he doesn't have any money, how is he paying for internet to get on there and stuff? Um, yeah, that's a real tricky situation. I apologize that some of the sound wasn't as good. I'm playing back, and I have a microphone by my phone when I record these, and um, he just was talking so soft. Um, it was hard to hear him. But um, anyway, take it for what you want. Um, form your own opinions. Um, I uh, I did feel like Dr. Phil. <laughs> just... Um, just trying to talk to him and stuff and uh and I probably will contact him back in a few days just to hear the rest of his story uh to see what else he has to say um again you know this could just be their normal way they talk and say stuff to people maybe he's not really 17 I don't know that maybe he's pulling my leg more than likely but I have to say my heart did go out a little bit just because of how he sounded, you know. Um, he, you know I'm, then again, if you've watched any of my videos that I've done of my conversations with them, I can act too and I can make myself sound, you know, uh, fake crying. I've done that, you know. So this is just one of those conversations I just felt that I really wanted to put out there because it was it was different it was interesting um <laughs> i i don't know what more to say about it the only other thing i can say is i say um too much and i gotta work on that <laughs> but that's all on me now the other week the st louis public library who has a podcast i got to be a guest on it which was cool and I also belong to another thing they do once a month. It's like an art chance for artists to share stuff. And I got to be on that. Well, one of the things I put together is uh, some of the uh, sweet talk lines that have been used on me. And I'm going to read these to you. I'm also going to put them on the blog eventually. But these were four that I've had recently. And these just crack me up. So the first one is, your beauty blinds me because it comes from your heart and it is reflected in your eyes. Now, if some guy here that I knew said that to me, I would just melt in his arms probably. But it's not a, it's not a real guy. It's a faker. The next one is, you must have been the second woman after Eve. God must have lavish, abundant time to make such an enchanting you look so enchanting. <laughs> yes, I swear I got that. He said that. The next one is, now this, I got to say, is a good pickup line. Hey, sexy, if being cute is illegal, you would be held most wanted. Now that is a good one. <laughs> that one cracked me up. And then the last one I have here is, wow, nice smile. Your smile does not seem familiar. Is this the awesome smile always on that pretty face of yours? Um, I think these guys really could write some amazing poetry if they really put their mind to it. Unless it's stuff they're stealing off the internet. But uh, who knows? But those are a couple lines that I've gotten. <laughs> um, you can see them on my blog probably. If not, I'm going to add that. I know there's more. But these were the four that stuck out to me that I, I had to share on the, uh, the interviews I did because it is just so funny. Now I need a favor from all of you. Um, I'm a big fan of the Ellen DeGeneres show. Um, I have been sending letters, t-shirts, all kinds of stuff the last couple of years to try to get on her show so that I can talk about my blog and now my podcast. As I always say, this is just important information that I'm sharing and I need everybody to see it so we can maybe do our part to stop these scammers. So now this is where you come in. If you go to Ellen's uh, page on the internet, there is a section where you can nominate me to try to be on her show. So if you go to www.ellentube.com, there's a place in there where you can nominate me to be on her show. If you go to my blog, 
www.onlinedatingwithpatsy.com. I have the link there and you can just click on it. It'll take you right to the form. So you'll fill out all your information um, and you'll uh, put in my blog info, which again is all on my blog and you can just copy it. And then basically in the memo form, you could just talk about how awesome my blog is and about all the great stories I have on there and the important information I have to uh, share with the masses. So um, I'd appreciate this if you do that. I have all my friends doing this. I have uh, people from my blog. I posted it there. So if you can help me do this, I would really appreciate it. Also, again, I'm always looking for guests on here. So if you've been scammed, romance scammed online, I want to interview you. If you've met your significant other through online dating and you're married, I want to interview you too. Every guest on my show gets one of my online dating with Patsy blog and podcast t-shirts free. And, you know, drop me an email patsypodcast at att.net. I would love to hear from you. Send me emails. Tell me you like my podcast. You like my blog. Don't tell me you hate it. No, I'm just kidding. Tell me whatever you want to tell me. Want to be a guest on my show? Send it there. And as I always say at the end of every show and every blog, never send money to someone you don't know.